Welcome to Design Summit 2020 and to this session on Enclosures in Harsh Environments, sponsored by Alltech. I'm Bob Vavre, Senior Content Director for Machine Design and Hydraulics and Pneumatics, and I'll be your host for this presentation. Here are some tips about our Design Summit event platform. The first tab on the right of your screen is to chat with our speaker during the presentation, and we'll get to those comments and questions during the presentation. The second tab shows you everyone who's watching this session and allows you to message with those attendees during the live presentation. It is not available in the on-demand version of this presentation. And the third tab is for you to rate our speaker and topic area today, and we ask you to fill out this portion at the end of the presentation before returning to the lobby. This will help us improve future presentations. And please be sure to head back to the lobby at the end of this presentation to see what's coming next in today's schedule, as well as the other sessions we'll offer during Design Summit 2020. You can also review the next session with the tab on the left side of your screen, and you can also click on the left-hand tab to reference the product demo videos. We're pleased to uh, uh, introduce Jeff Roy. Jeff is a product manager for Alltech Corporation, responsible for electromechanical parts, including enclosures, cable glands, wire duct, safe and safety relays. A native of New Jersey, Jeff has more than 25 years of industry experience. Jeff, hello, and we're looking forward to this presentation. Thanks for the introduction, and thank you all for joining us today. I'm Jeff Roy, and I will be discussing enclosures for harsh environments and some of the factors to consider when choosing an enclosure for outdoor use. Enclosure selection is often one of the last things considered in the electrical design process. However, these critical components can mean the difference between long life and early failure if not selected properly, especially when designing for harsh outdoor environments. What you want from your enclosure is long-term productive service. Knowing your application and the environment in which it will be located in is crucial, and understanding the materials, ratings, and options you have will help you make the right decision for your particular application. Years ago, specifying an enclosure basically consisted of choosing a steel enclosure that would fit your electrical equipment and hoping the enclosure would withstand the environment that you placed it in. Today, the types of components placed in enclosures have changed dramatically, as have the number of choices of enclosure types. People still often choose an enclosure based solely on what was used before or what is familiar, and not what the application and environment might demand. Technological advances have led to an exponential increase in the amount of electrical and electronic devices that are being installed in harsh outdoor environments. Ensuring the proper protection of these devices requires choosing the right enclosure for the application. This design choice is critical to ensuring the long life of the enclosure, as well as the devices it's supposed to protect. Environmental elements can have a significant impact on how an enclosure will perform over years of operation. It is important to consider what con conditions your enclosure needs to withstand. Some of the most common hazards encountered by outdoor electrical enclosures include airborne particles such as dirt, dust, and debris, extreme temperature changes, precipitation including rain, sleet, and snow, ice formation on the exterior of the enclosure, high pressure water from washdowns, submersion in water, corrosion from seawater spray, and constant ultraviolet radiation. Choosing your material is a key place to start your enclosure selection. Many engineers initially think of using metal for their enclosures as this was the traditional choice over the years. However, you can choose from several other materials depending on your application requirements that may be better fit for your particular application. Choosing the best material for the application at hand significantly impacts the function and performance of the enclosures long term. The following are some of the most common materials used to manufacture enclosures. Steel is the most traditional material because of its durability and cost effectiveness. Design engineers often think about purchasing metal enclosures first, based primarily on the idea that they are stronger and more durable than most other materials. However, steel enclosures are highly susceptible to corrosion unless painted or galvanized to assist with corrosion resistance. If your outdoor applications aren't particularly demanding in terms of weather and corrosion, then steel is an excellent choice for protection. 
Steel is a fairly heavy material, so it may not be an ideal choice for some applications. It does have strong impact resistance, but once dented, it becomes a liability if the seal can no longer maintain or the finish is damaged, allowing for corrosion to penetrate the enclosure. Stainless steel offers the high strength and impact resistance of mild steel while offering a much better corrosion resistance. However, it's much more expensive than many other materials and it's more difficult to customize due to the hardness of the material. Higher grades of stainless steel would need to be used if there will be exposure, exposure to chloride solutions such as salt spray as pitting corrosion can occur. Stainless steel enclosures are suited for medical and food industry applications due to their bacterial, fungal, and corrosion resistance. Aluminum is a durable material that is lighter weight than steel. It's also corrosion resistant, so it performs well in harsh outdoor environments. It's easy to modify and acts as a shield against electromagnetic interference. Die casting sizes are generally limited to smaller enclosures, though. Polycarbonate has become one of the most popular choices for outdoor enclosures. It's strong but light while also being non-corrosive and highly impact resistant. Many advances have been made with this type of material to increase its strength and flame retardancy. Polycarbonate plastic enclosures are generally less expensive than metal enclosures and are very easy to modify. Polycarbonate is a God. Polycarbonate is also incredibly versatile and suitable for a wide range of indoor and outdoor applications. These enclosures are also available with transparent covers if the inside of the enclosure needs to be visible without opening it. The only real drawback to polycarbonate is that it doesn't hold up well to strong alkalis or organic solvents. Its combination of toughness, flexibility, and lower cost makes it one of the best options for general outdoor enclosure use. Styrene plastics like ABS and polystyrene are some of the most cost-effective enclosure materials available while still offering excellent performance. Although they offer a great option for indoor use, they're not recommended for outdoor enclosure applications as they're not UV resistant and they have a lower impact resistance than other materials. Fiberglass enclosures are relatively lightweight and quite durable and resist chemicals and corrosive applications. Fiberglass degrades under direct exposure to sunlight unless UV inhibitors are added. They generally cost more than plastic enclosures and are heavier and also more difficult to customize. Some of the advantages of outdoor rated plastic enclosures are that they are non-corrosive, often less expensive than metal enclosures, as well as being lighter in weight. They are electrical insulators, so grounding is not necessary. Plastic enclosures are frequently molded with standoffs to easily add components inside. They're aesthetically pleasing and they're easy to customize by milling or drilling. Some of the disadvantages plastic enclosures can have is that they can be less chemical resistant to certain chemicals, they may be less impact resistant, and they do not naturally protect from EMI RFI without an additional coating being applied to the interior of the enclosure. Metal enclosures have the advantage of being naturally fireproof. They may have stronger impact resistance, but they can dent or bend. They also offer natural protection from EMI RFI. Some of the disadvantages of metal enclosures are that they are often more expensive than plastic enclosures, are generally heavier and bulkier. They do need to be painted to protect from corrosion, but a dent in the enclosure or a scratch in the paint can compromise its corrosion resistance. They also need to be grounded since they are conductors and special tools or dyes may be needed to customize them. Materials only account for part of the protection formula. There are some industry standards that you can use to easily understand what a certain enclosure will protect against. You should look at what ratings you will need based on the environment your enclosure will need to withstand. Two of the primary ratings to consider are NEMA and IP ratings, which are industry standards for protective enclosures. NEMA ratings, established by the National Electrical Manufacturers Association, are the most common rating system for enclosures in the U.S. IP, which stands for ingress protection, is a similar international standard that was established by the International Electrotechnical Commission, or IEC. Both of these rating systems can often be found on enclosure specifications. 
NEMA ratings are not strictly in ascending order, so you can't just choose the highest number to get the best protection. For example, NEMA 12 rated enclosures are basically not recommended for outdoor use because they actually offer a less stringent standard of protection than a NEMA 4 rated enclosure. Underwriters Laboratory, or UL, is a third-party test agency that tests and certifies products for safety. They adopted the NEMA system in their type ratings to classify the protection levels on the enclosures that they test. The most common rating for enclosures and their definitions are shown in this table. Type 1 enclosures are constructed for indoor use to provide a degree of protection to personnel against incidental contact with the enclosed equipment and to provide a degree of protection against falling dirt. These are common enclosures used indoors where there are no liquids present. Type 3 ratings are enclosures constructed for either indoor or outdoor use to protect against incidental contact with the enclosed equipment, to provide a degree of protection against falling dirt, rain, sleet, and snow, and that will be undamaged by the external formation of ice on the enclosure. Type 3 enclosures are mostly used as outdoor electrical enclosures. This is the lowest outdoor NEMA rating, so it's important that engineers consider the exact location and material of their enclosure. Type 4 and 4X enclosures are constructed for either indoor or outdoor use to provide a degree of protection to personnel against incidental contact with the enclosed equipment, to provide a degree of protection against falling dirt, rain, sleet, snow, windblown dust, splashing water, and hose-directed water, and will be undamaged by the external formation of ice on the enclosure. The Type 4X rating indicates additional protection against corrosion. Type 4 and 4X enclosures offer greater protection against harsh weather conditions compared to Type 3R enclosures. They ensure a watertight seal to prevent ingress of water. Type 6 and 6P enclosures are constructed for either indoor or outdoor use to provide a degree of protection to personnel against incidental contact with the enclosed equipment, to provide a degree of protection against falling dirt, against hose-directed water, and the entry of water during occasional temporary submersion at a limited depth and they'll be undamaged by the external formation of ice on the enclosure. Type 6P enclosures are additionally rated for prolonged submersion. Type 6 and 6P enclosures are used in applications in which occasional submersion in water may be likely. They're often used to house electrical instruments and devices in underground mines and offshore environments. Type 12 enclosures are constructed without knockouts for indoor use to provide a degree of protection to personnel against incidental contact with enclosed equipment, to provide a degree of protection against falling dirt, circulating dust, lint, and fibers, and against dripping and light splashings of water. Type 12K is the same rating except it's for knockout version enclosures. Type 12 enclosures are generally used in machining, manufacturing, and industrial applications for indoor use. IP ratings, or ingress protection, as previously mentioned, are an international rating system similar to NEMA ratings. IP ratings are more numerically structured with two rating categories where the numbers in the ratings increase as the protection levels increase. The first digit in an IP number represents the protection level against contact with dangerous parts and the ingress of solid particles, while the second digit refers to the protection against the harmful ingress of liquid. The basic IP chart lists the solid particle level from 0 for no protection to 6 for full contact protection and complete dust type. The liquid ingress level goes from 0 for no protection to 9 for protection against high pressure water at high temperature. It, the combination of these two numbers will tell you what level of protection an enclosure has. For example, an IP66 enclosure provides full dust protection while also protecting from powerful water jets, while an IP54 enclosure would provide significant dust protection but only protects against splashing water. There's no direct correlation between NEMA and IP ratings, but you can get a general comparison by looking at a conversion chart. These conversion charts differ depending on if you're converting from IP to NEMA or vice versa. In this chart, you can see how each IP digit compares to the NEMA ratings. Each digit is evaluated independently since each system handles these two factors differently.
Another common threat to outdoor enclosures are impacts that may break or damage the enclosure. Enclosures use an IK rating to indicate the amount of protection they provide against impacts. The IK rating system uses two digits that increase in value as the protection level increases. The IK ratings range from IK00 to IK10, with typical industrial enclosures being in the IK6 to IK10 range. For an IK rating, weights are dropped on the enclosure to test the impact energy that the enclosure can withstand, which is measured in joules. Third-party test agencies like UL will also perform an aging process to simulate environmental effects and then perform the impact tests. These are often performed at well below freezing, like minus 35 degrees per UL 746C, to prove that the enclosure can withstand the impact when cold and not just in favorable ambient conditions. This environmental testing also includes UV testing as non-metallic enclosures that are not sufficiently treated can become yellow and brittle under UV exposure. Third-party certifications may be something you need for your application as well. UL listing is required for many applications in the U.S., while CSA or CUL approval would cover Canada. You may need to meet other requirements for export outside of the North American area, like IEC requirements for Europe. These can be tested by an agency like UL or others throughout the world. Always check on the requirements in the country you want to sell to in order to see what requirements the enclosure needs to meet. So we've gone over some of the key points to selecting enclosure for outdoor use from a technical aspect. The design of the enclosure also has a significant effect on the usability and longevity of the enclosure in an application. A well-designed enclosure offers features to make things easier for the user, as well as improving its effectiveness in rough outdoor environments. One example of such a design is the Geo series offered by Alltech Corporation. These robust enclosures were designed with outdoor use and convenience to the user in mind, as is apparent when looking at the specs and features. The enclosures are made of high-grade, lightweight polycarbonate material for UV, weather, and impact resistance. They boast ratings of IP67 and UL Type 4X, as well as an IK9 impact rating. This means the enclosures are dust-tight and can withstand temporary immersion per IP are indoor and outdoor rated against splashing water, windblown dust and rain, and hose-directed water, and are undamaged by the formation of ice on the enclosure, and resist corrosion based on the Type 4 X rating. They can also withstand 10 joules of impact energy, which was tested at minus 25 degrees Celsius. One of the innovative GEOS features that allows for such high ratings is the Drain Protect sealing system. This system has an overlapping cover to keep moisture and ice away from the seal edge, where the lid and base meet. Below the lid overlap are drainage channels along the sides of the enclosure. These channels divert moisture to the back of the enclosure away from the seal. The combination of these features provides optimal protection of the elastomer seal against environmental influences. Convenience of use while installing devices in the enclosure mounting the enclosure, and accessing the contents once installed is an important aspect of an enclosure design. The GEOS enclosures feature a modular mounting system for mounting components and DIN rail, or mounting plates, at various heights inside the enclosure. These toolless mounting options make installation easy, as well as system maintenance at a later time. The assembled components can simply be slid out of the enclosure on the mounting channels, and then slid back in when maintenance is complete. The enclosure itself can be mounted in multiple ways. It can be direct mounted through corner holes in the enclosure to maintain its protection level, mounted through keyhole knockouts in the base of the enclosure, or mounted using optional mounting brackets on the outside of the enclosure. A pole mounting kit is also available for applications that require it and can be used on poles from 2.4 to 8.3 inches in diameter. The enclosures are available with screw-down covers or cabinet-style doors. Screw-down cover versions feature quarter-turn screws for quick access. The cabinet-style doors allow for easy access through the hinge door while providing security through the use of cam locks. A sub-panel or hinged internal door can also be mounted to the inside of the door frame to increase its functionality. 
One thing to consider when using sealed enclosures outdoors is condensation. There may be condensation problems when using sealed enclosures in environments with varying temperature and humidity. This is due to the fact that air can only hold a certain amount of water vapor at certain temperatures and pressures. The higher the temperature and the higher the air pressure, the greater the maximum possible water content. As daytime temperatures rise, the warming air in the enclosure gradually absorbs water vapor contained in the ambient air. Power dissipated by installed devices can, can considerably affect the temperature inside the enclosure as well. If the outside temperature falls in the evening, then the outer walls of the enclosure cool down. When the dew point temperature is reached, the water vapor contained in the con air condenses on the inside of the enclosure as condensate. This water collects in the box and may cause damage to the installed electrical equipment. To prevent this, an optional patented air ventilation element can be used with the GEOS enclosures while still maintaining a high IP level of protection. A set of ventilation elements are installed in the enclosure, one low and one higher. This creates a continuous air exchange, allowing the inside air to mix constantly with the surrounding air and transports the moisture to the outside. Air exchange also takes place in environments with nearly constant air humidity and temperature as the inside temperature still increases due to the heat generated by the installed components. The ventilation element is designed to be maintenance free. It is provided with a replaceable filter element that traps particles larger than 10 microns. The GEOS enclosures are UL listed to UL50 and UL50E, certified to CSA 22.2, as well as being tested to IEC 61439 and IEC 62208. Please check out the GEOS video in the product showcase. So in summary, while an enclosure is a relatively simple electrical component to specify, it's critical that it's designed properly and that the chosen enclosure matches the application requirements. There are extensive enclosure choices available in the market from different materials and different ratings, along with many unique and desirable features. Evaluating all of these options as they relate to the application at hand is the key to a long-lasting, effective, and functional outdoor electrical enclosure. Thank you for your time today. Thanks, Jeff, for the presentation. And to our viewers, we'd like to remind you that you can interact with our speakers and with each other by using the chat tab on the right side of your screen. The session will now be available for on-demand viewing, so please come back and re-watch it at any point over the next 90 days. Thank <laughs> you.